Welcome back to another episode everybody. Last time I left you, you was looking at this beautiful sunset when we were heading up to Guernsey on my Yacht Master practical course. Uh, so let's pick up where we left off uh, with a bit of a night entry into Guernsey. We are in Guernsey. <laughs> I don't know if you could see. We have rafted up, third boat out. That's my first rafting. I think it went all right, didn't it? <laughs> Not bad at all, mate. Not bad at all. I don't know if you're going to be able to see anything. These GoPros in low light are rubbish. We're going to go for a well-deserved beer. Very pleasant sail north from Jersey to Guernsey. Very pleasant indeed. Beautiful sunset. Got here just in time, just last light. Um, yeah, all in all, a good day. This is what we've been waiting for. Cheers, gentlemen. Thanks very much. Cheers. Good out. Cheers. Because the next day the winds weren't favourable for sailing, we decided just to have a bit of a, a social knees up. Um, thanks to Terry, the bumbling sailor, for getting these baby Guinnesses. They were actually really, really nice. We only had a few drinks and then uh, headed back to the boat. The joys of being on the outside of a raft. Now I'm nowhere near what you'd call YouTube famous. Terry is, he's got a lot of subscribers. But I just got noticed on the, uh, just stepping off the boat. It's always nice, it was lovely to meet you guys. Thanks for saying hello. Uh, so we're gonna go to the marina office and um, pay our dues. We've got two nights here now, we're staying again tonight with the winds and the tides won't let us get out. Uh, so go explore Guernsey, it's beautiful. Get some breakfast. Breakfast. Coffee. <laughs> So here we are again, passage planning, this time to go home from St. Peter Port back up to Portland. So I'm just getting all the tide times. The big issue we've got being here is the sill. What I mean by sill is literally, if you look over at the entrance, see how the water you see how the water outside is lower than what we got in the marina. Um, and we are actually touching the seabed. We are listing, I don't know if you can see. So uh, yeah, it's very shallow. Our opportunity to get out of there in the morning is 7, 7 a.m. Two hours either side of high tide, high tide being nine. So I've now got to figure out um, tidal directions from the tidal tidal times and then I can start figuring out flows of tide one way, flows of tide the other way and then get a course to steer so that it kind of doesn't throw us out too far and brings us back in. So I get to it. That's the tide coming back in over the seal and we're floating again. Good morning bit of an early start today to catch the tide when it's big enough to get out the seal you may notice we were over there we've moved um, 
because we were aground over there. Uh, we were actually kind of like out the water a little bit actually. Um, I don't know if you watched the episode when I went home last summer. Uh, I met someone um, and went on his boat, Captain Broderick. He's there, <laughs> he's there. So I went and met him and his lovely wife Jess, um, met the girls, had a little glass of rosé with him and he's going to be leaving shortly after us because he's got a bigger draft, his boat's bigger. He'll probably catch us up because his boat's quicker. So we're going to have a coffee, pack up and uh, get moving back to Portland. Last day of the course today. So with the boys up and about, uh, it was time for us to sort our lines out and exit the marina, just as that boat had done there. When I saw him leave, I knew we had enough water under our keel. So we left a stern spring on, uh, set to slip, and all uh, we I would do then is get Terry to man the line ready to slip, and I would come astern on that line, and as you can see, what it does is it brings the bow slowly out. Uh, when I was happy that the bow was far enough away from Captain Brod's boat and the one on the outside, the one rafted up to him, uh, I asked Terry to slip that line. Uh, when we slipped, I then come ahead and started motoring forward and uh, make our way out of the marina. So it started off a, a nice, lovely day, but as you'll see shortly, the weather across the channel kind of deteriorated. Uh, I'll shut up and let you watch. <music> When we finally got into Portland Harbour just before the marina, with the marina's just in front of us there, I was still seeing 20 knots of wind, as you can see. Um, luckily, as we rounded the little mini breakwater here into the marina, it did drop to 15, but 15 knots is still uh, a fair bit for someone as inexperienced as me. So as you can imagine, I was bricking it. Here I am, coming astern. Um, again, thanks to Terry's 360, you get a bit of a better shot of me coming back in. Uh, just to make things more interesting, the owner of the boat, Claire, who actually uh, ran the uh, sailing school, come to get the lines. This boat is her pride and joy, so I did not want to crash it. As always, thank you all so much for watching. 
Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a little like, a little thumbs up. Any comments are, are muchly appreciated as well. Thanks if you watched all three episodes of my Yacht Master. I've had so much fun uh, doing this course and it was fun making the video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And uh, here's what I got at the end of it, this cheeky little uh, certificate. Thanks again, guys. Take care.